can you make the perfect deep fake of yourself using the latest AI? That's the question. I'm going to run through training them, which takes about 20 minutes, and then see how good the output is of me. The results really surprise me. Hope you enjoy. The best model is no longer stable diffusion, it is flux. Let's see if it can produce some great profile photos of me. So let's do some training. So here are my images and then I need to zip them and select a model, create a new model, yep. Yeah. Okay, my model, then input images, archive here, in it goes. Then I think that's it, trigger work is just gonna to be tock. So I'm gonna be the subject of the model and if we want me riding a horse, it's gonna to be tock riding a horse. Okay, let's just get training. Okay, I need to give the model name, Tom Portraits. Let's try again. Cool, now we're training. If you're wondering, by the way, why I'm wearing this jacket is because I'm quite cold in this wee work that I'm in. <laughs> Cool, I said, I wonder how long it will take. It's using an age 100, that's cool. I'll pause it and then we can come back and try it out. It took about 20 minutes and we're back. And <laughs> there I am writing a horse. Now this is actually a good prompt because I've used Stable Diffusion a lot for my product and trained hundreds of models. Riding a horse is something that Stable Diffusion with Dreambooth handled poorly. So I'll run you through the results. There's a likeness to me. Okay, stable diffusion with this would just be completely misshapen. This is an extremely bare prompt. So the fact that it gets this quality with a four word prompt, extremely good. And then I'm only doing 15 inference steps and it recommends 28. I haven't messed around with the parameters at all besides setting a seed. I'm impressed so far. It's a massively better than Dream Booth. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> Photo of me as a superhero. Yeah, that, that looks like me. <laughs> uh, but the facial structure looks very much like me. That is a very high quality image. Yeah, great. Again, minuscule prompt with no parameters. That looks like even more like me in terms of facial structure. That looks extremely like me in terms of facial structure. Look at my face and look at the images that I gave in. Yeah, that, that is very good. Let's go on to this one. Hyper-realistic photo of me wearing a suit. Yeah, it's usable. Oh, I can't actually open it straight up and just zoom in. Yeah, that, that's plausible. We're past Uncanny Valley. That doesn't look like me, but it looks like someone, and I don't think you could tell that was AI generated. That, <laughs> that doesn't look like that. That doesn't look like me. But the facial structure is similar again, plausible. That doesn't, <laughs> that's not a good result. <laughs> Goodness me. Yeah, that head is way too big for the body. Very impressive though. Let's continue and see now, what do I provide here? Oil painting of Tok. Again, I reiterate how sparse these prompts are. It's funny. I gave, missed the missed the prompt there. Doesn't look a thing like me. Missed the prompt. Looks a tiny bit like me. Let's go like a, a highly realistic, highly realistic oil painting of Tok as a Roman soldier feeling sad about the wet weather on a long march. Let's see how that goes. I'll run that one and let's check out the others. A high fashion catwalk starring Tok Man. Kind of looks like me. I think it's quite a, yeah, from doing similar prompts to this high fashion, it's, it's, it's good, but in some way the more prompt needs work. That's missing. You can tell it's AI generated from these shaping, but that's quite a hard one. Let's get rid of that. That's one's running. Oh, here's our horse. Okay, I updated the horse. Beautiful wall painting. That we've lost the realism there of me. Okay, interesting. I, I, yeah, I'm really interested to play with this and actually give it more training data because I gave it 12 images. I can easily give it 20 or allow it to generalize because all the images I gave it were not very good ones. And yeah, because there's not much there's not much variation in them. If I had me riding a horse that would be good but me in with more variation rather than these two are very similar and if people when people when customers would upload images that were just very similar backgrounds you the results may be five times worse here that is very good my goodness that has captured the prompt extremely nicely it looks wet i look sad it's sad it doesn't look entirely like me i don't know what's gone on with the it's an unusual roman a head dress but maybe they it's, it's plausible to an on to someone who's not an expert fingers and hand looks slightly misshapen but also plausible that nail doesn't look good but very impressed with the facial structure the prompt a little that hand looks misshapen hands as you probably know where ai has lots of difficulty 
that looks really good. Well, that looks like that also looks like me. That that is very that's outstanding. Hand looks okay. Very cool. That is outstanding as well. Any clear flaws? No. It doesn't look like these are looks like these people from the twenty first century. But yeah, there's a sadness to it. Wow, very impressive. Let's try a few more. What's this? Oh, okay. So this is actually me using a prompt that works well for a, a real prompt that I use in production for amazing photos. Yeah, wanted to see how realistic. Of course, there are lots of other parameters that I've missed off here that I don't know how they translate, but I'm interested to see. So that looks, yeah, like a kind of magazine model version of me. It's symmetrical frame, symmetrical face. It's captured very well. Yeah, yeah. And and that's kind of what this prompt is asking. It's for, it's not kind of that's it's what it's asking ideal human so it's asking for an idealized version of the person that is very realistic that's a very realistic photo of me in the sense of it doesn't i know it's not me it's yeah there's less there's less there's less uh, there's more uniformity there in my actual face but wow very convincing and i think slightly less convincing this one this kind of blurring is not quite but yeah very impressive Let's see the final few. What did I have for that? Roman. And maybe we'll do, I'll just show you one more to show the variation. Photo of me as a what? A, let's actually just ask the AI for it. Highly unusual and creative image output. Cool, let's see what it says. This is using Claude, but this is through Raycast. Cool, bioluminescent jellyfish. Okay, let's go me, I could either ride it talk yeah let's not even give it or oh, i could be the bioluminescent jellyfish i think i will ride it ride it or talk in the scene there is a let's just see how this goes let's see it's finished very nice image i don't see myself but which is kind of what i wanted yeah so we've missed it there that wasn't that wasn't good enough it's like let's let's actually read it a crescent moon it's stuck to the tech it pumped very clearly spinning liquid starlight mm, don't really see that I don't see liquid starlight in any of them. And glowing geometric shapes for heads. Street lamps are actually glowing dandelions, yes. Pedestrians are shadow with floating glowing geometric shapes for heads. No, none of that. Completely missed that. Reflected in puddles on the ground, but reflection serves an up, down, so down, underwater coral reef instead of the circuit city. Missed a few prompts there, but done pretty well, I'd say. Let's run it again. I'm excited to use this a bit more. Here we are. That could be me. I've gone for an interesting crescent moon cracking open like an egg. That could be me, potentially. Okay, so we've produced some interesting images here, but it seems that providing a really complex prompt kind of removes talk. I guess in terms of attention, the there is there is there is me, but there's also so much going on. So yeah, overall very interested, and yeah, recommend trying out. I'm on Replicate. I'm just paying by the API, it's very cheap. Yeah. For more free content, check out the links in the description below or subscribe. All the best to you.